don't want to talk right now. So, Jim, how are you feeling today? Don't want to talk right now. All right, but it's our session now, and Janine and Martin have been seeing you twice a week. That's two times a week now. Have you been finding your time with them helpful? Times a day or times a night? Times a day or times a night? Times a day or times a night? Any time you're able to share your thoughts and feelings, is the time spent with them helpful? Minutes or hours or nanoseconds. Whatever your measurement of time is. Who cares? I don't care, dog. You know, what about this? In the eye? Is that what you want? Is that what you want? No, no, this Jim. Is, this no. is what you want, isn't Jim, it? it? Right is here. I'm so want. close. Jim. I'm going to do it. I'm gonna... How about this? Pencil in the kneecap? Oh, yeah. Oh, Jim. I'll do it. One. It's lined up good. Think good and about proper. Way, Two. Okay. Three. Oh, God. Yes, that was good. Yeah. All right. We're just oh, going to count to three and duh. calm down now, okay? Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, God. I got sick. Oh, now I never wanted to see me. So, Jim, now that we're calmed down, have you been able to see Sylvia this week? No. No. Haven't seen her. Haven't seen her at all. No. No. No, I have not seen her this week. And Sylvia Plath robbed me! Sylvia Plath is a robber and a slut. How often have you been taking your pills now? Blowhole. Never gonna take them. 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 Gonna puke them up. Puke them up like water through a blowhole. Jim, do you ever talk about Sylvia with Janine and Martin? They're dead. Why do you always have to ask when you already know? You're gonna kill me. In here. I know they talk to you. You're all conspiring so that I won't be able to see Sylvia. It's what you're doing. I know. If there's any doubt in your mind, Mr. Burns, we want you to be able to see your daughter as soon as possible, not hinder your recovery. It's the clarity of your thought that we're concerned with. Be assured that we are trying our best with you and that Janine and Martin's efforts are meant to assist you in this process, not watch you or pose any sort of threat. She doesn't miss me. She won't ever miss me. I'm replaced. Now that simply isn't true, Mr. Burns. No one can replace a young girl's father. Ever since I got sick, there's no point in fatherhood. I'll just fill her head with poison. Oh, poison. Oh. You know that some of your thoughts are real, Mr. Burns, and some are not. Yes. yes. But mostly not. Mostly not. No. So if you can establish and relate those real thoughts with your feelings, Mr. Barnes, perhaps we can go from there. Perhaps that way you can try and find the truth, hmm? You can use that technique as a mental grounding tool, alright? Sure thing, Doc. We can try and summon out the truth sure that way, alright? Yeah, sure thing. Does that make sense to you? Whatever you, yeah. Sure thing, Doc. Ever since I got sick, <sighs> the truth of what I feel or reality? Mr. Burns, before, when you thought Superman Spectre was speaking through you, how did you feel? Trapped! Manipulated! Like I couldn't even breathe! How do you feel when you talk with Jasmine and Martin? 
<laughs> Lois, fetch me my coat. <laughs> Like I'm at work. Like I have to try very hard for me to see Sylvia. Like I have to try very hard to see Sylvia. So that feeling of work, of great challenge maybe, can you try and feel engaged with that feeling while we talk about Sylvia some more? Yes. What do you miss most about Sylvia, Mr. Burns? Watching cartoons. Watching cartoons and making her cereal <laughs> soggy. Which cartoons were her favorites? Did she have any? I liked a lot of them. I, I don't remember them. I, I, I didn't watch them very closely. What were you watching while she watched cartoons? Her. You miss her very deeply, don't you? Yes, I have to get better so I can see her. Let's talk about how you can get better and what you can do to initiate the process. Can't take the pills. I'll choke on them. I'll choke on them. If you have difficulty swallowing them whole, Jasmine or Martin could provide you with a powder form. Tastes like shit. The trick is to eat it quickly or stir it in some juice. But we both know that it's not the taste. I'll choke on them. What well, size of the pills now, is it? Are you averse to how they make you feel? Uh, mm, it's the pills. The, it's the pills. The way they taste. The way they taste. It's how they don't feel. How they don't feel. Clock is orange, but it was gray. Organic hands. Long hands, a second ago passed, but it was orange to gray. Is that a gray to orange? Mr. Burns, think about your work and seeing Sylvia again, please. I can't breathe now. It's all right now. Try to think of Sylvia, Mr. Burns. You can breathe the air in this room. I'm here. It's not safe. I'm here with you, and if it's really too much, we can stop. Is it really too much now, Mr. Burns? Think about whether or not it's really too much. Hmm? Your daughter, Mr. Burns. Hmm? Is it really too much for her? Hmm? Good. I think you're made up. Mr. Burns. Let's work with Sylvia, please. Will you allow me to call you Jim? That's my name, Mr. Burns. That's what you call me. That's what you call me, Mr. Burns. That's what you call me. I think you're all made up too much. I'm here in this room with you, aren't I? I'm not made up. I'm here. Well, what if I'm not? And I never, ever had a daughter. And I never was poor. I never shot up. I never ate pussy. I never lost life. Yes. What else, Mr. Burns? What if I never lived? I was never here. If you never lived, you wouldn't have Sylvia. And if you were never here, you wouldn't have me as a witness. If I start the pills, will I see her? Well, we would have to talk about that once your course of therapy started. I won't take them unless you say so. Mr. Burns, I cannot guarantee you my consent to visit Sylvia just as soon as you take the pills. Why, you... Talk to Jasmine and Marguerite. Martin. <laughs> Marston, I just, I just wanna... You must promise to do this for more than me, Mr. Burns. Try and do it for Sylvia. 
I'm not the only person who has to give the okay before you leave here. When you feel as though you won't fill her head with poison, only then will you be better enough to visit her. Only then should you appeal your case. Yes. Is that a fair deal? I'll take them and I won't talk to Marston and I'll talk to Jasmine and I'll talk to Marston and I won't think, I won't think of Superman. But if he comes back, you must let me know, Mr. Burns. Do you understand? He could remain until we find the right balance in your medication. Uh, yes, I understand. It'll just, it'll be our secret. Uh, so the poison won't sneak out. I would like you to take your first dose in front of me, Mr. Burns. I will give the rest to Jasmine and Martin and each of your ward heads, all right? Yes. Okay. Now then, once at breakfast, once at dinner, they will make you feel a little tired at first. Why? Will they slow your reflexes? Yes, that is a common side effect. What if Superman comes back? Be willing to work for Sylvia, Mr. Byans. And trust in me to take them, please. Why? I'm only here to help you recover, Mr. Burns, not inhibit your recovery. I wouldn't give you medicine that would bring Superman back. And will I see her? With success in three weeks, yes. Three weeks! The course of therapy is three weeks before any noticeable improvement, and you cannot miss a day, Mr. Burns. We did talk about this last week, remember? No. No. You've agreed to taking them now. We'll continue. Yes? If you would like to sign this contract, it will ensure that you continue your course of therapy. Sylvia works at a grocery store as a bagger. Real smart for a three-year-old, isn't she? You can succeed, Mr. Burns. You can hold yourself accountable with this personal contract. If you break it, then it will take even longer for you to ever see Sylvia. Yes. Dare. It's now or never, Mr. Burns. Am I going to die? No. I think you'll remember how to live now. I wish. Give it a few days and tell Jasmine and Martin how you feel when you talk. Talk as much as you like about Sylvia. Talk about anything. Talk about how it feels to work. And try to remember the cartoons that you used to watch with her. Try to remember the cereal she used to eat before you became ill. This is very important work, Mr. Burns. You have a job to do now. Consider remembering your personal vocation. Do you live to work or work to live? Do you live to work or work to live? I believe in your particular circumstance it would be both, Mr. Burns. I'm not going to be made up anymore, huh? Nobody is. It will all be real enough to touch and feel, Mr. Burns. With any luck, it will be soon. Yeah. Is there anything else you would like to talk about before we end for today, Mr. Burns? No. I can't think of anything more now. You are doing the right thing and are that much closer to seeing Sylvia again, Mr. Burns. If you could please present that prescription slip and pill case to your supervisor and ward head on your way out before you leave. Yes.
guess. It should be on his person still. Search his room if he still doesn't turn it over to you, Martin.